Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to show you how to do something really basic that you probably never think of making yourself. Homemade butter. So yeah, when I tell people I make my own butter they're like, oh my god, you're a rocket scientist. Um, but I'm not. It's actually, it's very easy. You might think it's a complicated industrial process, but in reality nothing could be simpler. All you're doing is separating cream into its two component parts, which are fat, that's your butter, and a liquid, which is buttermilk, which is also useful for marinating things and baking with. So two goodies for the price of one, and it's dead easy to do. Let's do it. So ingredients for your butter, you need cream, any amount, whatever, and optionally some sea salt totally optional. Uh, you could also use, you know, chilies or coriander or any, anything you like really. But basic, I like a bit of crunchy sea salt in my butter. The cream, it should be uh, heavy cream, double cream or whipping cream, not the regular thin cream. And it, it just happens this is extra thick double cream because <laughs> it was reduced to 50p. So there you go. Um, and that's 300ml and 300ml. So that should make a reasonable amount of butter and an electric mixer or a stand mixer or you can even do it in, in a blender. And if you don't have those but do have a lot of muscle power and patience, you can also do it with a, a hand mixer. So I've got a big bowl and I'm going to put the cream in there. Splat. <laughs> and all you want to do is beat it. Slowly to start with. And after about five to ten minutes it reaches this stage which is stiff peaks. Bas basically it will it will hold its peak shape. And um, now just carry on beating it. And it's also starting to go all over the place, so I'm just going to cover, well, half cover the bowl with some uh, cling film, plastic film, and uh, carry on beating. <laughs> and try not to get the uh, cling film tangled up in the beater. <laughs> Bit of heck. Okay, we'll forget about the <laughs> plastic film and and we'll just have to put up with stuff splashing all over the place. No worries. And after some time you'll get to a point where you think it's time to give up because it's not working and then this starts to happen. You get liquid separating out from the solids. Just keep on beating till there's quite a lot of liquid and uh, then we're nearly done. You can hear this sloshing sound when we are beating through it. Right, I think that's enough beating. So now we need to separate the fat from the liquid. So I've got another bowl and colander and some muslin cloth. And I'm just gonna pop this lot into there. And the buttermilk will drain out through the cloth and the butter won't. It's a kind of magic. I'm going to tie this up and hang it over the bowl so I can squeeze it somewhat. So, well you can see that's dripping naturally. If I squeeze it a bit it'll drip more. Quite a lot more. Um, so you could leave that on its own to just drip away like overnight. <laughs> but I'm a bit impatient so I'm going to squeeze as much out as I can by hand. Right, so now um, here's my chunk of proto butter and here's my buttermilk which I'll stick in a jar and keep in the fridge till I need it. And here's the bowl again. So what I'm going to do now is take the butter out of the muslin cloth. And pop it in the bowl. Thank you. 
and you don't actually have to do this step that butter is ready to eat now if you want with your salt in but particularly if you've used raw un unpasteurized milk it'll last longer if you wash the butter ha that is iced water <laughs> it's cold um, basically there's going to be some residual buttermilk in the butter and you need to get rid of that because that's what will cause the butter to go off so we just rinse it in <gasps> iced water uh, and you can see that the, the water's going a bit cloudy that's buttermilk that's coming out of the butter um, and you'll need to change the water probably two or three times till it's clear right um, so the water's not really going any cloudier so that's good news because my little fingers are going to fall off <laughs> so let's get that out of there and now you can finish it off so I'm just going to add some sea salt to this and just kind of massage that in try and get it all the way through the butter and then the last step is to kind of store it or present it you can put it in a, a ceramic bowl or you can just pat it into kind of normal butter rectangle or you can roll it into a log and wrap it in greaseproof paper and actually I'm going to make this into two logs because I promised my sister one hi Jean <laughs> okay, so I've got some greaseproof paper and just roll it up and twizzle the ends and that is homemade butter easy eh okay bit of toast bitter homemade butter well quite a lot of homemade butter because you know <laughs> it's a treat and now Let's have a taste. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You gotta make this, because if you never had homemade butter, you ain't lived. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you can get the full recipe on my website, keefcooks.com, and there should be a link kicking around on the screen over there or down there. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Link, link and uh, talk to me leave comments make requests keep it civil and friendly or i will ban you and thanks for watching and see you next time